Chapter 3 has finally arrived, and with it comes sliding and Fortnite now runs on the new Unreal Engine 5. So it's about time I update you all on the new best movement software and settings for the new chapter. It's so important to have optimal movement settings because it doesn't just improve your movement but your building, editing, and even aim. If you have bad settings and you want to say run around a corner and shoot someone, you have to turn away from the enemy then flick onto them rather than just keeping your crosshair on them the entire time. And if you're editing on someone, you need to have enough strafe to get out of the way before you confirm the edit. If your settings aren't right, you'll get pre-fired more often. So which software is the best? There's Wooting, Keys2x, and ReWASD. ReWASD is too CPU intensive and will add input delay so it's out of the question. Then there's Wooting versus Keys2x. Some say Keys is better, some say Wooting. In the past, people liked Wooting mainly because of its simplicity, but Keys2x came out with version 2 so it's just as easy as Wooting, but you also get advanced options that Wooting doesn't provide. Both are great software, but Keys2x is definitely the winner here. Setting it up is pretty simple. You just download the link on their website and install it. The link is in the description. Once you open Keys2x, you're going to want to open Fortnite 2 so you can make sure it's working. The first, most important step that's absolutely crucial is to change it to dark theme by clicking this half circle icon. Light mode is unacceptable. Okay, now we can change the settings. Go to Options and change the usage type from Fortnite to Fortnite Advanced. You'll see the D-pad and Buttons tabs are now available, but do not enable them. We only care about the left stick tab. Click the Binds menu and change SOCD to SIP. This changes what happens when you press left and right at the same time. If it's on neutral, you'll just run straight, but with SIP, it'll always run in the direction you press last, so if you're running left and press right, you'll turn instantly instead of it waiting for you to release the left button. If you don't use default movement binds, you can change that here as well. Now for the strafe angles. You want diagonal to be 59.99 and strafes to be 75.92. Here's why. You want to be able to change from running diagonal left to diagonal right without losing momentum. Anything over 120 or more will cause you to start losing momentum when you switch, so 59.99 lets us have the maximum diagonal angle without losing momentum. For strafes, 75.92 is the maximum angle you can strafe before you start doing the weird sideways walk. So having strafes at 75.92 and diagonal up at 59.99 lets us run a lesser angle to keep momentum, but then maximum strafe when we need to for things like tarping and safe peaks. When you're just holding left or right, you run at the maximum 75.92 max strafe, but holding forward and left gives you the 59.99 degree strafe. What's great about keys to X is that you can also change your diagonal down separately. I prefer a pretty wide angle personally, but this one's honestly whatever you're comfortable with. The last thing to change is a bit advanced, but I'll explain it. When you're crouching, if you press your sprint key, you'll walk quieter but also slower. But we can use keys to X to walk quieter while still moving almost full speed. To do it, go to your binds in keys to X and enable direction modifier. Set the key to whatever your sprint bind is. Then go to the modifier tab and set all the angles the same, but set speed to 94%. This makes it so you walk at the same angles, but at 94% speed instead of the 50% Fortnite does by default. Now hit apply and open Fortnite. In your Fortnite settings, you need to unbind up, down, left, right, and sprint. The very last step is to make sure lock input method is mouse is on and ignore gamepad input is off. Now your double movement should be perfectly set up. If for some reason you still can't move, open your keys to X, hit the settings cog and enable start as administrator. That fixes it for most people. If you still can't move, go to options, change usage type to configuration expert and put both core priorities to high. You can also try toggling the controller input. Performance wise, the controller output doesn't matter. Now if you want to know the best movement binds, I show them in this video. Thanks for watching.